Hey folks, Technivorous here. I've been brushing up on my C-sharp programming skills lately, and I just found this website with some programming challenges, similar to Coding Bat for Java, but this is for C-sharp. So I'm going to jump in and do a couple of these. This first one is basically explaining how this works. Now, if you've never coded before, definitely check this out. Uh, and they have a little demo here as well. So uh, I'm just reading through this real quick. The code tab. All you have to do is type a return true between the curly braces. So this is a main method there. Oh, okay, fine. We'll sign in with Google. Uh, maybe. I am technivorous. All right, there we go. All right, check. And these should get progressively harder as they go, but it's a really fun way to uh, brush up on your coding skills. Looks like test passed, submit final, and I'm hoping it'll just take me right to the next challenge. I haven't played around with this yet. That was actually my first interaction with it. I just, uh, sometimes I crave doing a little bit of code and, and don't have anything to code, so these challenges are a good way to keep your skill up. So how difficult was this challenge? Very easy. Ooh, you can change your, your skill level. I'm going to leave it a beginner. I'm a little rusty. So convert minutes into seconds. Should be pretty easy. So let's see what the code equals. Public static int. So we're going to return an int. So let's see. Int minutes. Um, int. Let's just go with s. Equals zero. set it right there. S equals minutes times 60. Return S. Oh, I put a minus instead of an equals. Whoops. There we go, submit final. That means we got that one complete. We're just gonna roll through a couple of these and having a good time, so. Uh, very easy. All right, create a function that takes a number as its only argument, returns true if it's less than or equal to zero, otherwise false, so true if less than or equal to zero. We can do that with a less than equal to zero. Return true. Else return false. We need a semicolon there. that one was complete as well so moving on really could do without rating every single one I wish there's a way to skip that looks like these beginner challenges are giving me 5 XP per um, I don't know what that's uh, even used for but whatever uh, create a function takes two numbers as arguments and return their sum this one's easy as well Integer C equals A. If I don't hit the wrong button. Plus B. Okay, so that should work. Although, I'm curious if we can just do that. Yep, return it in one line. That's not bad. Moving on. like the cute little game game music there when you complete a level function that reverses a boolean value this one's easy as well
But I'm saying there's return not boolean or return the opposite of the value of what they're passing in. Oh, unexpected symbol. Oh, meh. Semicolons, man. You know, syntax. It's kind of a thing. There we go. Any time now, these should start getting a little bit more difficult, but this is uh, <clears throat> pretty simple stuff. Uh, give an n sided regular polygon n, return the total sum of internal angles. Okay, so n will always be greater than 2. The formula n minus 2 times 180 gives the sum of all the measures of the angles. Okay, so n minus 2 times 180. Oh, I didn't return it. I didn't return it. What is it saying for my error? Oh, because it's numb. Again, we'll just skip initializing a new int and return num minus 2 times 180. That's the formula they gave us. And it passed. Moving on. It's a great brain exercise. I mean, I could literally just sit here and do this all day but uh, I don't know whether or not you can sit there that long and watch me but I'm entertained having a slow connection there. Okay, write a function that takes the base and height of a triangle and return its area. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Don't forget to return base times height divided by two. It's practically giving us the answers. There's not really fair, but okay. Just notice the practice and shuffle buttons there as well. I'm going to say medium just to see what it says. Create a function that takes the age in years and returns the age in days. Okay, um, in the notes saying 365, ignore leap years and days between last birthdays. Expect only positive results. <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right, code. Int age. Wait, we're supposed to get uh, years. So that's the age in years, and we're supposed to return It's too easy. Let's see what else they got. It's under practice here. Okay, so that brings us start practice.
It's basically the same, same problems. It looks like. Convert minutes into seconds. It takes the base. Okay, so this one we did already as well. Return A times B divided by 2. Oh, what do we do? We don't have A, we have H. You're not going to return A when you don't have that variable, buddy. Make a few simple mistakes, mostly because I'm rusty. Less than or equal to zero. All the stuff I've already done. That's all that was. Every single question. Um, I guess we'll go back to challenges. We'll do some more of those. Practice complete. Okay, cool. Shuffle. C sharp. Let's go on easy and see what it says. Generate a random unsolved challenge. Sort the number array in ascending order. Function's argument is null. An empty array or undefined. Return an empty array. Return a new array of sorted numbers. This is going to take me a minute to remember how to do this, but I do know how to do it. So, Sources. So let's check, make sure I know what I'm doing. Let's steal this, see what happens. Oh, that's a collection. Yeah. 